Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Kate. And today we have another do not miss Catholic book review for you. For this book, Jesus, I Trust in You, a 30 day personal retreat with the litany of trust. And we are also drawing the latest giveaway winner. So we have our trusty <laughs> giveaway mug back there. Yep, so we have a lot of fun stuff planned today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this book was our 30-day devotional pick back in January, and we've been wanting to review it for you ever since because it is so good. So the author is Sister Faustina Maria Pia, who just goes by Sister Faustina, and she was the one who wrote the Litany of Trust and then expanded it into this book. So we say wrote the prayer, but as we go along, you'll see that there was a whole lot more to it than that. She wrote the Litany of Trust at a time in her life when she was really struggling with an issue. She did not know which way to go, so she decided to take it to prayer. And she really wanted Jesus to tell her exactly what she needed to do. So she went to her room, she prayed in front of the crucifix and told him, Jesus, just tell me what I need to do and I will do it, no questions asked. And Jesus answered her, but not in the way that she was expecting. He told her, I want you to trust me. I don't want your yes in this situation to be yes to a set of circumstances. I want your yes to be to me. So that was a revelation for her, and after that, she immediately went and wrote the Litany of Trust. She says she didn't so much write it herself as receive it from Jesus. And what a beautiful prayer it is. Every single line of it is meant to help us learn to trust Jesus more so that he can deliver us from all the things that weigh us down, like stress and discouragement and anxiety. So a couple of our favorite lines from the prayer are, From anxiety about the future, deliver me, Jesus and from discouragement, deliver me, Jesus. But we also really like these two lines, that your plan is better than anything else, Jesus, I trust in you, and that you are with me in my suffering, Jesus, I trust in you. So the prayer is wonderful all on its own, and it is great, perfect for Divine Mercy Sunday. But in the book, Sister Faustina takes the prayer and breaks it down line by line and adds her own reflections. So the book is set up as a 30-day retreat, and each day focuses on a particular line of the prayer, and each day has three sections. Each day starts with a story, usually a story about a saint, but not always, and all the stories are really good, very interesting. Then there is a section with a scripture reflection, and then each day ends with an invitation section, and this is a series of questions you can ask yourself about that line of prayer. And these are meant to help you learn to live that line of prayer more fully each day. So this book gets great reviews online. Everyone loves it. So we are really excited to get it. And when I started reading it, I was thinking, okay, yeah, this is really good. You know, it's very good, you know, not earth shaking. But then I got to day, I don't know if it was day four or day five. And I thought, oh, <laughs> Okay, now I understand this day is speaking directly to me. I don't know how Jesus does this, but I was clearly meant to read this reflection on this particular day in my life. Which shouldn't be a surprise since Jesus often speaks to us through the things that we read. Yes, he does. And he was definitely speaking loudly and clearly to us through this book. I think that on almost every single page of this book, we have one of our little bookmarkers that we can come back to reread. And the book is also very comforting. Sister Faustina, just through her stories and her reflections, reminds us just how much God loves us and how much worth we have in his eyes. So one of our favorite stories from the book is about a man named Roy. He was a Jewish guy who had lost his faith in God. He was pretty much an atheist at this point in his life, but he was going through a sea of despair. Things were not good in Royland. No. And one day he was walking on the beach and he became suddenly very aware of God's presence. And he and God ended up looking over his whole life together as if he had died. And... He saw how deeply he would regret all of the time and energy which I had wasted on worrying about not being loved. When every moment of my existence, I was held in the sea of God's unimaginably great love. God's love is unimaginably great. We cannot even begin to fathom how much God loves us. 
And another story that we really loved was the story of how Sister Faustina's parents met, which no spoilers on this one, but it's a great story. We also love their family tradition of saying three Hail Marys every day for God's continued providence in their lives. So the book is full of all kinds of neat ideas like that. Sister Faustina definitely gives you a lot of different ways to learn to trust Jesus more. For instance, if you tend to worry about the future, she gently reminds you about the Blessed Mother because the Blessed Mother, while she was alive on earth, she could not see into the future and yet she was at peace because she knew that whatever was going to happen, Jesus was going to be there. And we can be 100% certain that whatever happens in our lives, Jesus is going to be there for us. The author says, trust rests knowing that God is leading. So one last thing, if you get the book, do not miss page 155, which is so, so good. It's all about forgiveness. And I have gone back and reread it several times. And this is really just the type of book that you can go back to and find something inspirational or helpful every time you're just flipping through it. Again, we loved it. Five out of five stars. Yes, definitely highly recommend. And as a side note, Sister Faustina recently gave an interview online. I mean, not recently, but not too long ago. <laughs> and in it, she goes into more detail about the book and how it came to be and the litany of trust. So it's definitely worth watching and we'll link it below. And Sister Faustina belongs to an order of nuns called the Sisters of Life, which is dedicated to promoting the dignity of every human life. So it is no surprise then that that theme of the dignity of every human life really shines through in the book. So definitely this is a do not miss. All right, so now we're going to draw the winner for our recent giveaway. Um, we have a Divine Mercy bag. So we just love this little bag. It's a perfect kid size bag for library books or school books. Then we have this How to Say the Rosary puzzle and a Divine Mercy color themed Lego rosary. If you left us a comment on our video, we put your name in the giveaway mug and Kate is now going to pick the winner. <laughs> Let's see, this one? Um, and we have Annie Oker. I probably, Annie, I recognize that name. <laughs> I probably butchered your last name, but congratulations. Congratulations. So we hope you're having a very happy and blessed Divine Mercy Sunday. Jesus, we trust in you. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. We hope you will check out the book and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.